What up, Raiders? Welcome to Raid the Day for Friday, June 30th, 2023. I'm Gestel from Gestel Gaming, and Plarium has released the information on the new boss, Akumori the Phantom Shogun. We'll discuss him and more. Let's dive into it. Now, here is the in-game news release. Uh, update preview, Accessory Ascension. Deep in the Mistwood, there lies a twisted and corrupted grove. Tales speak of a phantom shogun stalking the hallowed ground of the grove with nothing but vengeance on his mind. Only the truly brave or truly foolish would dare risk the wrath of Akumori the phantom shogun in their pursuit of magical extracts allowing one to unlock the secrets of accessories ascension tap the details button below to watch the update preview video to learn more about akamori the phantom shogun and accessory ascension don't forget to like and subscribe uh so we're not going to watch the video here um go ahead and check out the video for yourself if you want to come by during the stream uh we will watch it there i'll give you my thoughts more on the champion uh, when he comes out, uh, we'll try and put out a, a good video on how to how to tackle him. He, he looks pretty looks pretty difficult, uh, but go watch the video and see what they have to say about him. Um, it's gonna be a hard fight. <laughs> it's gonna be a hard one. So we'll dive into that later. Um, other piece of news here, just wanted to mention. Uh, it's live. We got two X Ancients um, and a ten X Retidors all weekend. Uh, Teodor uh, does end a day early, so uh, if you're pulling for Teodor, you got to do it today or tomorrow. Uh, Sunday, he will not have a 10x going, and they pretty much that's standard for for every uh, 10x while they have a 2x going. I think that gives uh, people who might not want to get Teodor uh, or whoever the 10x champ is the opportunity to uh, just pull shards and let that RNG hit. But we do see, do see that blue lightning beam coming up, um, telling us that it is a 2x, also 2x events here, and then uh, both highlights here letting us know what's going on. So if you're pulling, good luck to you. I got 57 on the free-to-play account, plus uh, a little bit more. If, if nothing happens, we'll have to spend some gems to hope, hope to get a good champ. Fairly clear most team, we'll see. Um, come by the stream, I'll be pulling then. Two o'clock Pacific Standard Time, quick plug. Uh, then I wanted to go over um, the Raid Digest that came out this morning as well. Let's read through this. What do you got to tell us? Polarium? Greetings, Raiders, our brave G unit. Is marching off to new adventures. Fire Knight is scratching the back of his fiery head, ready to meet the daring dwarf in Talaria. And we do not. <laughs> okay. Scratching. Fire Knight is scratching his fire head. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. And we do not change the tradition of Rage Digest. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Uh, so they are announcing here the Sylvan Watchers Crypt Grand Opening next week. I love that they make it, like, positive. Everyone's not happy about this, right? But I love that they go positive. Uh, you got it, right? Sell it. Sell it, to the, sell it to the people. Next week, the Sylvan Watchers will receive their own Crypt in Faction Wars. You'll be able to enter the Crypt after the Faction Wars reset, a few days after the release itself. So I guess basically what they're saying there is you're going to see uh, it added to... The Faction Wars uh, map, uh, but the day that it's added, it, it won't be open. It'll probably be a couple days later when it actually opens up and you can get in there. For those who have reached Lydia, the Death Siren, after the update, she will be automatically sent to your collection when the update goes live. If your collection is full, you will get her sent your, to the inbox. And last but not least, Clan Quest for completing 20 plus level Sylvan Watcher's Crypt will come out later in one of the next releases so that you have time to progress through the Crypt stages. Yeah, you get limited amount of keys, so makes sense. 
Protection and stone scan accessories in our latest what's new in a read video We mentioned the new Hydra accessories, which will be unique to the Hydra clash The community raised several questions on the new items and we would have we would like to comment on them Hydra accessories will be a part of a nine piece Hydra set, which means it is possible to active Activate stone skin with one stone skin artifact plus three accessories or any other combination of artifacts and accessories, which uh, there was definitely some great videos out there. I think I saw Scratch mention it, um, but basically you're going to be able to do like stone skin and savage, um, stone skin and perception, pretty nice. Uh, full perception set, nine pieces, and its special bonus, all allies who have active buffs from the protection set owner, including the set owner, will deal bonus damage to the enemies, 5% more damage for each buff. I'm glad they did this because I felt like protection shot was underwhelming. Plus, they did buff it. For, I think it was 30%. Now it's 50% on a six piece, up to 75% with the three piece. So, protection set's looking way better now, in my opinion. Protection and stone skin combo. It will be possible to equip both four pieces of stone skin and four pieces of protection set to get the protected stone skin buff at the start of a round one with 25% chance. See? There you go. Sounds like fun. Protected stone skin, what could be worse? <laughs> uh, a couple content creators, I saw Hell Hades, um, a couple other people posted videos today, maybe even Scratch, I think, today. Uh, fraud with payments, uh, please note that we as a company do not bear responsibility for any third party services that offer alternative, not assured by the in game process, ways of getting resources or making refunds for you. First of all, such services might potentially compromise your account. Secondly, they may lead to negative consequences such as account bans in cases when the activity violates our terms of use in a, one way or another. We rely on your mindfulness here. Recently, we have spotted a fraud scheme based on refund abuse and have taken necessary measures. Now, I did not hear anything about a refund abuse. Um, what I heard was uh, basically people were... Um, using currency or they were check i don't know i guess it's cheaper in different countries to buy certain packs um and people were abusing that that's what i believe hell hades spoke about um but so uh, just uh you know don't cheat there you go and then clan vs clan coming out next tuesday will not have a personal reward so uh, they do come out with these raid digests every Friday. I like to take a peek at them because they'd like to sneak some stuff in here. So not necessarily happen this time, this week, but uh, they are saying uh, next week we will start to see the Silver Watch or we will see the Silver Watchers in the Faction Wars. So there you go. We get a little tidbit there. And back to in game. Let's check out. Uh, so, Forge Pass, I did want to mention, um, this is my free-to-play account, um, I like to call it the Wifey's account, uh, that's her, her, uh, gamer tag, typically, uh, Sladkaya. Um, so, free-to-play, I will not be buying the Forge Pass here, uh, but it is, so, really what you're going for on free-to-play, if you're not spending any money or you're not buying this Forge Pass, you're going for these 75 at the end. Uh, let me tell you, it is, it is not easy to do this. You have to get for all four every day. You have to do it. They added this defeat fifty void champs in. I don't know if they added that or just seen it for the first time. I realized it. This was pretty frustrating. Now I assume you could probably go uh, in like a dungeon that has void champs. That I think that accounts towards that. Uh, I ended up doing it in. Um, in uh, Classic Arena, because I am uh, still working on on the 200 Classic Arena battles here for Arbiter. But, uh, uh, so it's just, I figured, get two for one in that sense. Um, but they're not easy. They're not always easy. Some are easy. Uh, 10 champs from shards, easy. Just pull 10 greens. Obviously, collect all your playtime rewards. You're probably doing that daily anyway. But I just wanted to make note that if you are free to play, uh, make sure you get these four done every day. Um, I think you can miss like, I think you can miss like two or three days. So, uh, out of the whole four weeks. So just stay on top of it. 
stay on top of it. It's a uh, this is a great set. The righteous set's worth it. Some of the other sets maybe not as worth, but this righteous set is great. So getting the speed bonus perfect and resist. Uh, it's gonna be super helpful down the road, if not uh, for what you're already trying to go for if you're earlier mid game. Um, drop fever has moved over as we can see down here. We got a three extra fury. You click on there, that's gonna bring you right into the fire knight. And we do see it listed here. Um, you know, I still don't, I'm still not bought into the fury set uh, with the changes. I probably should test it instead of talking trash on it. So maybe we'll do that here in a future video. Um, but as of right now, not a huge fan. So um, I'm still farming dra Dragon's Lair and Spider's Den <laughs> on both accounts. Um, and we'll quickly take a look at the tourneys and the events going on right now. Uh, so to coincide with the three times Fury, we do have a Fire Knight if it's going to load. Hey, oh, it. We do have a fire. There we go. Uh, we do have a Fire Knight tournament going on. Just got started. There is uh, almost three days left on that one. Champions Chase, that is to coincide, obviously, with the 2x going on right now. Now, look at this. Uh, this is, I think, the first time we've seen this. I actually have a Relentless Mythical set for the first place winner. Uh, so, cool. Uh, I just noticed that right now. <laughs> let me know. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the first, uh, I'm pretty sure that's the first Mythical set for Relentless, so... Uh, hey, might be a good time to go uh, try and win a champion chase tournament. Um, uh, it's not going to happen on either of my accounts, but maybe in the future it'd be worth going for. Tag team tournament. Um, I got the 100 on the free. I've actually completed it on the main account um, just because, as I showed yesterday, I set my defense to uh, single, per single person defense, uh, single champ defense, and then you go down to the... The lower ends of the uh, tag team spectrum. And uh, when you're down here, it is nothing but <laughs> nothing but single champ teams, so it's easy to win. Uh, so I got first I got first place going there. Um, this account uh, don't really have uh, three teams that can kind of plow through it, so getting the hundred energy is uh, bonus enough for me. Uh, but I would say if you get to 2,000, the Soul Stone is definitely worth going for. And Soul Chase Tournament coming to an end, 15 hours. Be wary of that. I would say any Soul Stone you get, probably pull it. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe get yourself a Void. Uh, I have mustered up 62 points on the free-to-play account. It'd be nice to get to 80, but uh, probably unlikely. And looks like tomorrow we have a classic arena tournament starting out. Uh, easy way, I think typically it's 380 points to get the top reward. Easy, easy way to get points. We'll take a look at that one when it opens up tomorrow. And events are fusion warm event. Make sure I have not done it yet. Make sure you get your uh, 90 points a day so you get that ancient shard. Uh, here in the next two days, you do have three days to do it, so you can technically miss one day or, you know, maybe miss out on a little bit, but I'd just say play it safe, get the 90 every day. All you got to do is get some artifacts or accessories to complete that. Path of Light, also finishing in 15 hours. Uh, free to play, I did come down here, just looked for the energy, the gems, and then resources uh, i don't farm at all iron twin so anytime i can scoop up any resources for the altar of souls um i do it so that's what i did here um yeah i'll probably i don't even know if i'll make enough to get anything else i guess if i get the 500 i'll grab these other uh, gems before it before it's over but had the lights always yeah, you know, really good rewards, but also you gotta you gotta pump a lot into it to get there. 
And lastly, we got Artifact Enhancement Event. 13 hours, 33 minutes left on that one. I'm hanging on to resources right now. Um, this was just from rolling up, I don't know, whatever I was rolling up. Just trying to gear up a champ, probably, for Faction Wars. Um, but I am holding out for the fusion that is coming out here. Uh, looks like on July 3rd, I believe it's Monday. Um... So I would recommend hanging on to silver if you're gonna if you're planning on going for new or G unit, um, and I wouldn't spend the silver now. Definitely, uh, I've been able to save up a bunch of. I haven't gone for the past couple of fusions, so I've done nothing but save resources. And in fact, I'm actually stacking energy uh, now. It might be a bit early, uh, but I'm gonna start stacking energy now, so I'm ready to roll. Uh, right into that fusion. He's going to be a great champ for this account. I'm very excited for him. So, that is all the news we got for you for today. Uh, for Raid today. And, uh, best of luck pulling those shards on the 2x. I hope you pull uh, I hope you pull a lot of champs you're looking for. I hope you get that T-Door if that's what you're looking for. Um, best of luck there. I'll be streaming today. 2 o'clock Pacific Standard Time on twitch.tv slash Gaming, And also head over to gestel.gg. Uh, great website. We've got a lot of great resources and huge updates coming very soon. So why not bookmark it now and, uh, and have it ready for when we have some really cool features coming your way uh, on that website. But until tomorrow, have a great day. Take care.